Today, thanks to GoAuto.com.au, I take a look at the new intriguing model from Subaru, the XV. And I know it looks like I'm doing this from the middle of the bush, but I'm in fact at Subaru's man-made off-road track, which is right here in the heart of Melbourne. Is it a hatch? Is it a compact SUV? Or is it simply a combination of both? Well, stick around because the truth may surprise you. At first glance, the all-new XV looks just like the latest model Impressor small car that's been jacked up by a few inches. That's right, Subaru have taken their ultra-successful Outback formula and applied it to the Impreza to create a unique little crossover. To give the XV a bit more visual oomph, they've thrown on some black plastic around the arches, added a bit of 4x4-like cladding beneath the front and rear bumpers and fitted quite distinctive alloy wheels. Sitting around 220 mils off the ground, the lofty body and wide opening doors really does make getting in and out of the XV child's play. As a result, you get a much better driving position and all round vision, which is great for parking and driving around town. But the really great news is how hard Subaru has worked to give its latest model a much better interior without compromising on functionality. You'll appreciate the soft rubberized dash top, excellent craftsmanship and comfortable front seats, as well as logically laid out switches and controls. The upmarked S model kicks off at $34,990, so you'll find satellite navigation, a reversing camera, xenon headlights, leather upholstery, heated front seats and a sunroof as standard. Yet the XV at 28,490 includes seven airbags, cruise control, climate control, air conditioning, and those 17 inch black and white alloy wheels. But it's not all roses, I'm afraid, because the boot is just 310 litres, which is tiny by today's small hatch standards. Blame that on all the all wheel drive hardware hidden underneath. To drastically improve fuel economy and cut carbon emissions, the XV introduces an all-new two-litre four-cylinder petrol engine with some trick new technology. But before all you Subaru diehards start a riot, don't worry, it's still the horizontally opposed boxer variety that the company is famous for. Quieter and more refined than before, it provides sufficient rather than scorching performance. You'll have to wait for the turbo model due out next year for that. And still, whether you choose Subaru's six-speed manual like the one we're in today, or their automatic CVT, you'll get exceptional driving under any conditions. And thanks to Subaru's radical start-stop technology, which stops the car at idle, you'll enjoy exceptional fuel economy. But my favourite thing about the XV is how sporty and well-planted it feels around the corners. Through a set of turns, the Subaru handles and grips the road like a true pro in all sorts of weather to provide enjoyable yet safe driving dynamics. And thanks to that extra bit of ride height, it takes you to places off the beaten track that no other comparably sized hatch can match. You know, the XV is one of the most surprising packages for me this year. I mean, beneath its high riding exterior is a crossover that possesses real ability, quality and depth. It is more than an Impreza in drag. To find out more about the Subaru XV range or read a range of in-depth car reviews, go to goauto.com.au.